Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super fun. We have got another cookbook collaboration. If you are new here, I have been hosting these cookbook collaborations throughout the year and starting in January. I think we've only missed like one month, but other than that, I've been hosting them every month at the end, towards the end of the month. So for this month, I'm going to be using this half homemade cookbook from Taste of Home. I got this, um, as a birthday present in uh, July and I'm finally able to check out some recipes. So I'm going to be making two crock pot soup recipes and y'all they both were amazing. Highly recommend this cookbook. Don't forget that part of these cookbook collaborations, um, the cookbook will be linked down below if it can be linked. If not, then the recipes will be typed out. Um, but I will have the playlist link down below so y'all can check out everybody that's joining in on this month. Y'all can check it out uh, and see what everybody else is making and what cookbooks they are using. So I'm making um, navy bean vegetable soup. It was really good. And then the other one, I'm making easy tortellini spinach soup. So both of these recipes were super delicious, really easy to throw together. Um, that's one of the good things I love about soups and crock pots is because you can just throw everything in and have a delicious meal by the end of the day. So I was very happy with both of these recipes. So I'll have this cookbook linked down below. Don't forget to check out the playlist down below once you're done with this video and y'all can see everybody else's um, videos. So make sure you go over and give them some love and comment and let them know that I sent you over and let's go ahead and get started. frozen meatballs but I've got my own that I made in a freezer meal video so I'm just gonna use them and then it calls for calls for chicken stock but y'all know I always use either the cubes or the powder and the only thing that I think is weird for this recipe <laughs> is because anytime I use like if I'm making a recipe that has chicken in it then I use chicken stock or broth but if it has beef in it like these meatballs then I use beef broth but the recipe calls for chicken broth but your girl's gonna use beef broth because that's just how I am so I got water in there and I'm gonna add the beef cubes to equal out the water And the picture of this soup looks delicious. That's one of the reasons why I was like, I just have to try this. Because it just looks so good. And then it calls for some Italian seasoning. A little bit of pepper. And then a can of diced tomatoes. I'm using the fire roasted garlic. Those are my favorite. They give you a really good flavor. I hope this is good. It doesn't seem like a lot, so hoping that it's going to be good. Okay, so it says to let Okay, so technically this is a stovetop recipe, but y'all know how I am. I'm making it in the slow cooker. So I'm gonna let these first, these first five ingredients marry for a couple hours and hang out. And then when it gets closer to time to eat, we will add in our tortellini and our spinach. So I feel like this is gonna make a great, crock pot soup so we're gonna let it sit on low I'd say about four hours 
and then we'll come back and add in the rest of our ingredients. So we've got about two hours until it is time to eat. I ended up adding in carrots, which wasn't on the recipe, but I just thought that it just seemed kind of bland. <laughs> so I added in some veggies, and I think it wouldn't matter what kind of veggies you added, but I did add in about a half of a bag of baby carrots. And so those are cooking up, and then I just added in half of this bag of chopped spinach. The recipe calls for fresh uh, spinach, but I just use what I have on hand. So I'm using this chopped spinach. So I'm just gonna put the lid back on it. I am gonna turn it on high because the carrots still aren't done. And um, I poured those in when I first turned it on after I turned the camera off. Y'all didn't see that. But I'm gonna turn it on high that way that can finish cooking. And then we will add in our noodles. We have got about 30 minutes until we plan on eating dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in this bag of cheese tortellini. The whole thing. I'm thinking I might have to add some more broth. But I'm gonna wait and see how much they expand before I... But y'all, it smells delicious. So I'm just gonna cover it and let it sit for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna toast up my bread and we will have dinner. Y'all, this was delicious. I highly recommend this recipe. And Luke and I both agreed that we were glad that we added in the carrots. It just gave it another element and it was so delicious. Highly recommend. I've already got everything portioned out. So all I gotta do is dump and go for this one. We are going to add in our carrots, our celery, our onion, And then I'm using ham that I already had in the freezer. It was just left over from when we did that crock pot ham. So I just cubed it up and using that. But you can just go and get like the fully cooked diced ham. And then I'm adding in my navy beans. I did soak these for about 30 minutes. They're so small, so you don't have to soak them for a very long time. And then I'm gonna add in my vegetable recipe mix. I love smelling that. <laughs> and then a onion soup mix. The recipe does call for a bay leaf. They were like $4 at the store, so I did not do that. <laughs> so we are leaving that out, but I think it'll be fine. It's not gonna be a big, big difference in flavor. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in the water. And that was pepper that I added in a second ago. Just gonna give everything a stir. And it says let it cook for a good nine to 10 hours. So that's what we're gonna do. It is eight o'clock right now in the morning and we're gonna let it cook all day long. It smells really good. So we're gonna cook it on low for about nine to 10 hours. It is all done. Y'all, it smells amazing. We've never had any kind of soup like this. So I was super curious and excited about it. And y'all, it just smells amazing. 
So I'm gonna make, I was gonna do homemade bread, but I forgot to put it on. I was busy cleaning today and I totally forgot to put it in the bread maker. So I don't have time to do any homemade bread. So I think I'm gonna make some cornbread to go with it and then dinner is done. So I just made some of the bacon cheddar jalapeno cornbread. I shared this last week and I will have that video linked down below and I will, or not last week, the week before. I'll have that video linked down below and I'll have this recipe linked in the description box. Y'all, this one was a winner too. I absolutely loved both of these recipes in today's cookbook. I will have this cookbook linked down below. I highly recommend it. Don't forget that this video was a open collaboration hosted by myself. I will have the playlist linked down below. So make sure y'all go check out all the lovely ladies that have joined in on this month's cookbook collab. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.